Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, man, I'll tell you what, 2022 has opened with a bang, hasn't it? We've got new rules from the DOJ. We've got filibuster changes proposed by the Senate and the, and the federal level. We have a new gun control bill that Gavin Newsom requested out of California, which is basically going to allow you to sue anybody that touches a gun. There are things popping off, but we are in a position to make a difference and make a defense. The article itself is in the description box below, and we are going to take a trip to California tonight because we got to talk about this. Because the more that the left pushes in this utopian ideal, the more it brings attention to their infringements, let's just say lightly, infringements on the Second Amendment, which will lead to the cataclysm of the empire that they are building. This is huge, guys. Like I said, the article is linked in the description box below, and that's where we're going to hit on. Now, I want to say to you guys, if you're on the second press and you're one of the early adopters of the founding members, I just want to say thank you. We are doing an amazing thing together. We are building a Second Amendment media company together. This is like the daily wire for the Second Amendment focus. This is incredible. There is a link in the description box below. The reviews are off the charts on the articles that we have up. We have 10 writers going in. We have multiple editors. Everything is narrated by myself and put in your inbox to further the narrative that we are going to control going forward. This is huge, and I'd love to have you guys along. It's in the description box below for two weeks free. Enough of that. Let's dive in, and I hope to see you on the second press. Now, Let's talk about this California situation, because if you guys recall, we did a video all about Gavin Newsom coming out and being upset that the Supreme Court is allowing Texas to do that abortion thing. California lawmakers unveil plan to hold gun makers liable for shootings. Now, that's what Newsom requested. We talked about it on this channel, but listen to what's happening and watch how the empire can fall apart real quick. Now, this is out of, uh, by Hannah Wiley from the Los Angeles Times, January 4th, Sacramento. Governor Gavin Newsom's plan to target the gun industry through private lawsuits is coming together in legislation unveiled Tuesday that would allow gun violence survivors and other citizens to sue firearm manufacturers and dealers. Now, that's what he requested, but listen to what's actually coming out from this Assembly Bill. Assembly Bill 1594 would hand the state, local governments, gun violence survivors, and victims' families the power to pursue legal action against, quote, irresponsible, reckless, or negligent gun manufacturers, importers, or dealers. That pretty much covers all of it, said Assemblyman Phil Ting. Now, Phil Ting is the guy who runs all the gun control stuff in San Diego, or San Francisco, rather. One of three Democrats pushing the plan. The proposal predates the Texas bill and replicates a 2021 New York gun control law that targets manufacturers, Ting said, but still gets to the, quote, spirit of what the governor called for. So this has been on the shelf for a while. And they've actually tried this before, but now they have more impetus to do so because Newsom requested it. But listen to what they're actually going to do because this is where it starts to fall apart. The bill would leverage a loophole in federal law that largely shields gun manufacturers and dealers from liability. Now, he's talking about the PLCAA, the Perfection, the Perf- oh my gosh, Protection of uh, Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. This thing has been in place. It's federal law. They're not touching it. Biden even hit on the fact that they, we should remove it on a federal level, which we haven't, of course. But it's in place. This directly contradicts that. That's why they're going to get in trouble when their products are involved in a crime. He noted that companies and sellers are still liable under state regulations, and AB 1594 aims to hold them accountable to those in California, such as required rigorous background checks and a ban on sales to people prohibited from owning firearms. Nothing changed. That's existing law. The proposed law would ensure distributors and manufacturers are not causing a, quote, public nuisance with their products or engaging in unfair business practices. That last part is the key part. Public nuisance laws went into effect in New York. They're always connected. New York has public nuisance law, and just by coincidence, they overreach with those public nuisance laws, and they're now being sued by a litany of gun companies and the NRA. Letitia James in New York is named on the lawsuit personally, the AG there. This is not going to end well, just like the New York rifle case that's happening, and we're going to hear from this year for the Supreme Court on. Every time that they overreach and they step too far, we are there to put them right back in their place. They will run as far as they can until you yank that little rope right back, and then they're in trouble. And that's what's happening across the board. You've got a perfect example in the New York rifle case, because when that falls... Every gun control across the nation has to be rewritten because it's all based on that. But now, listen to even their own scholars and say they're going to say, they say the same thing. The efforts could still prove risky despite California's affinity for gun control, said Lola, 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 let's just call Lola, law school professor Jessica Levinson. 
Unlike abortion access, Levinson said gun rights are explicitly written in the Constitution. Zing. That means not only that the Supreme Court strike down any new law targeting the industry, but Newsom and the legislator might unintentionally welcome legal scrutiny for policies already on the books. That's exactly right. And that's why they always go too far and they bring down their own empire. He's not even proposing a law that is clearly unconstitutional. But it is a little risky because he's going to call attention, an enormous amount of attention, to those restrictions and subject them to challenge, Levinson said. And we know that this particular court, that's risky business. It's very Newsomian. He just cherishes being first in the nation, and this is popular in California. And the more he has the first in the country, first in the nation on his resume, the happier he is, Levinson said. He resoundingly swatted down this recall, and now he's taking his political capital out for a ride. Well, his political capital joyride is about to unravel gun control because he's pushing too far. And as this law prof professor says, if they go too far and they bring attention to the infringements that they're already doing, they're going to lose those infringements. So, go ahead, take that little speedster out for a road. I can't wait to see where it crashes. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments field below, and I will see you on the second press. Braden, signing out.